Now let's uh, go ahead and try to uh, try to detect the edge and create some masks. Of course, you can do uh, that manually. You can create a mask texture and paint and kind of mix uh, different colors to simulate some dirt built up effects on the crevices and the uh, worn out edge, right? So, but but uh, there can be some ways to do that automatically. There there are actually some ways. Uh, for example, you can go ahead and. Uh, you, you can do that manually. I'll just quickly show you. For example, you can go and uh, let's make it a bit darker and paint these crevices just like that's just like that. For example, something like this. But that's not the best thing that you can do, right? There must be some easier ways to do that. So, yeah, let's get rid of that. And actually, we will do that in cycles, not in EV. But after we bake those uh, in this that information, we can use that in cycles too. As you can see, I am using simple HDRI, which I got from HDRIHaven.com. It's a or uh, Polyhaven.com, which is a wonderful website. Now let's uh, we there are a few ways uh, that you can uh, apply to detect some edges and crevices, but a very easy and simple way is to use ambient occlusion node. Don't forget to enable node wrangler add-on, add-ons wrangler. As you can see, I have uh, activated that. Uh, when it's activated, you can con hold down control plus shift and uh, just left click on any node to visualize it. Now let's, uh, let's point four, for example. Or you can uh, just uh, make the opposite, just like that. We can bring down the distance even smaller. You can see I have detected uh, detected the edges successfully. Uh, we can bake this directly, but we can do a bit more than this. For example, we can just uh, create some noise around here. Uh, like let's use mix color and let's mix this color. I don't know, maybe this. And now we can bring in a noise texture. We can increase the strength of these. For example, we can in increase the strength of any of them. For example, let's, we can also use this for this ambient occlusion. And maybe increase this dark, just like that. Something like this is fine, but, but we can do even better, for example, get rid of these white these white areas it's uh, it's possible for example we can use we can just multiply these or just uh, this ambient occlusion shift D and multiply this and connect this to here with alt you can remove it from here and put it here and just bring down the this just like that. Now we can bake this information to a texture, uh, bring in shader emission. With emission we will control this. And let's select this object and let's bring in a texture, image texture, create edge mask and 4K for 96. And the color will be something like, I think it's fine. Okay, hit OK. And yeah, select this object, select this uh, texture or image and come here to bake, bake emit and just bake. After we baked, we can go to UV editing and look at that edge mask. And as you can see, it's uh, baked. It's not bad, as you see. Is, uh, it's, it's fine, I would say. Go back to shading and let's uh, preview this. Go to rendering and just control shift click. And this is just an image. Now you don't have to be in cycles. You can be in EV and it's visible. And you can get rid of all these. Uh, I would come here to this wood base color. Multiply this, shift D. Let's uh, visualize this and this. They're both the same, but I can make, sorry, 
So let's get rid of this for now. I can make this one a bit whiter. Color, maybe hue, saturation, value, or with anything. Let's use hue, saturation, value, or brightness, contrast. Control X to delete this. Uh, brightness, contrast. Let's uh, make it a bit brighter. 0.2. Yeah, that's that's if not too bright, that's fine, I think. And use uh, mix color to mix these two. We could have just mixed to uh, this with just a color. Now let's use this color information to as a factor uh, and visualize this. Now you can see uh, we have edges. Of course, we will. We can use. We can make it a bit better. Maybe not too, not too bright. Maybe just like that. Or you can control the this with color ramp. It's very uh, contrast and very visible. Or yeah, because now you're controlling this color, as you can see. Now that you can see, we have a little problem here. For example, here we don't have a screw, but we have a place for the screw. Like uh, it, there was a screw here, but uh, this is the problem because we just duplicated these planks when we unwrapped. You know, to avoid this, you need to unwrap everything. So uh, we can fix this, I think, with coming here by coming here and creating a new, new UV map and uh, masks we can call it and we can activate this while we have activated this we can go to uv editing uh, uv maps just uh, use this and select everything u and unwrap this is a different uv map now now if you come here and activate this this is the uv map uh, and this one is the uv map for the masks now uh, we need to rebake this, but I, I already deleted the notes uh, with ambient occlusion. I will just quickly set up it again and bake on the next, uh, on the second mask. We can bring it from here. If you search for UV, we have a UV map and you can select the UV map. Let's bring in texture, image texture, control T. And uh, we have, we can use a different UV just like that. Come here to vector and select the masks UV. This way we can, so edge mask. We can bake this onto a new UV mask, UV map. Let me quickly set up it again and bake that once again. Now I have baked with the different UV and you can see the there is no such uh, traces where they shouldn't be and they're in in the correct place for example here as you can see it's in the correct place and we don't have any trace around here now uh, we have successfully detected the edges. now it's time to detect the uh, crevices let's go to render view now we need to uh, identify these crevices so I just uh, removed this inside and uh, immediately we can see some good things going on here. We just need to increase this, for example, uh, point 0.1 maybe. Yeah, that's, that's looking fine, I think. But we should create a new mask, not edge mask, shift A, cavity mask, texture, cavity, and uh, connect the same vector here, select this, like this, uh, and don't forget to use emit, yeah, but you should select this uh, texture to activate it, go to solid, you don't have to be inside the render view, and let's bake. Now we can go to material preview and use this, this is, and this one is the second mask that we have baked. We can make it uh, stronger now. Now we can get rid of all these or you can just uh, copy these two and this color information, these three, right? These three, control C, 
to a new new material let's go uh, wooden planks or something and let's paste those control V those three textures remember they are using different UV maps this one is using the first UV map these are using the second UV maps now we can just uh, plug this in or just plug it here base color and now let's use uh, let's set up the shaders but here let's come to UV editing image save all images to save these two images now we have saved them as you can see but now we are using a different UV so let's change this control T this one is correct now and just it's too much I think right A little integration here. If you want to learn everything about creating materials, texture painting or baking, just check out my full Blender course on Udemy, where you can also learn all the fundamentals, shortcuts, modeling, shading, lighting, rendering, modifiers or add-ons, and everything else in Blender in more than 200 lessons and 36 hours of content. We will also make six projects from scratch, so if you're interested, the link is in the description below. I think we will use a different node here, shift A, color, Q saturation value, just uh, decrease the value and make it a bit darker, just like that. And let's use this here and how it is looking now. Let's try to change this, maybe we will just use convert to color ramp, yeah, just something like this. And yeah. The last thing is, remember, we haven't uh, pay, uh, baked the information on these metal parts, but you can do exactly the same thing that we did on the wood, and you will have the same results on these things.